2020 has not been a good year for the oil industry. Because of the global coronavirus pandemic, commerce is at a standstill. Billions of commuters are staying home, and airlines are essentially paralyzed. Demand for oil is in freefall. Before the outbreak, the world was consuming around 100 million barrels of oil a day. It is estimated that demand has dropped by 29 million barrels a day between April 2019 to April 2020. To put that into perspective, during the 2008 financial crisis, demand dropped close to 5 million barrels. If that weren't enough, a price war between Russia and Saudi Arabia has hurt the oil market even further. As demand dropped due to the virus, the 13 member states of OPEC, which account for almost 80% of global oil reserves, agreed to cut production to keep oil prices stable. Russia, now part of a broader alliance called OPEC Plus, refused to cut production deeper and for longer. Saudi Arabia reacted by ramping up its own output, kicking off a price war. Oil prices plummeted and dragged down global stock markets with them. In April, after Donald Trump intervened, Russia and Saudi Arabia called off their brutal price war. To reduce the mushrooming global oil surplus, OPEC Plus agreed to cut production by over 2 billion barrels until the end of 2020. The cuts weren't enough to stop oil prices plummeting further, with the U.S. benchmark crude, WTI, going negative for the first time in history on April 20th. None of this is good news for American oil producers. Under the Trump presidency, the U.S. oil market has boomed, taking advantage of production curves by OPEC+. Plus. In 2019, the U.S. became the top producer of oil, extracting nearly 13 million barrels a day after a huge shale boom. But now dozens of small and mid-sized U.S. oil companies are facing bankruptcy as storage runs out and wells are shuttered. The end is an insight.